Anything you can do needs to be done, so pick up the tool of your choice and get started. Carl James was a youth worker in Antigua, West Indies, when he first began to shape young lives. A young man himself, he came to Canada in 1973 to pursue post-secondary education and soon began a long-term commitment to the community. As a student, he began volunteering for the Black Education Project at Central Neighborhood House near Regent Park. At Central Neighborhood House, I, I worked as a youth worker with many of the black youth from, and most of whom were from the Caribbean. The program started with about 20 youth who came because they wanted to come, age ranging from about 12 to about 14, 15. And by the time I left there, two or three or four years later, the program had mushroomed to about 20, 200 youth or something more youth attending the program. Uh, I, I helped to organize and coordinate a basketball program. This early volunteer work molded Carl's contributions to the community and influenced his professional life. Carl holds a PhD in sociology and in 1993 joined York University as a professor in the Faculty of Education, where he now plays a critical role in advancing the university's knowledge and understanding of minority cultural experiences. I think most significant is the way that Carl brings his work in the community into the Faculty of Education as a whole, into our deliberations around program development, around curriculum development, around issues of access, and around affirmative action. Carl teaches courses in urban education, adolescence, foundations and models of education, and practitioner research. I try to have students start thinking of communities in which schools are located. To, to explore what are some of the experiences of the people in that community and how are these experiences coming into the school and how teachers pay attention to the experiences that students bring into the classroom. And uh, I, again, probably comes back from my work in the community and how I understand the community as integral to people's lives and one feeds on the other and how learning should not be in isolation of the experiences of the students and people. Carl is a prolific researcher. He has written more than 50 articles and numerous reports and conference papers. His research and publications explore issues of equity related to race, class and gender, youth and sports, anti-racism, multiculturalism and immigration. Carl has authored and co-authored 14 books. The most recent is Race in Play. So Race and play, I wanted to go back to a number of young people to find out how, what role race, uh, sports played in their lives and what, what is some of the outcome. Carl works on a range of programs and initiatives designed to promote equity and increase students' access to post-secondary education. He continues to volunteer extensively on boards and committees for organizations such as Central Neighborhood House, Organization of Children with Black Parents, Canadian Race Relations Foundation, Toronto District School Board, and the United Way. A community is only as strong as its youth because they are the ones that will carry on. And um, Carl has made a great contribution within the community as far as working with youth. Carl is devoted to his son, Kai, who is studying at U of T. Kai recently accompanied Carl to Sweden, where Carl received an honorary doctorate from Uppsala University for his contribution to social equity and anti-racism education. I feel very uh, satisfied with uh, the attempts I've made in terms of working at, in teacher education and trying to influence uh, and encourage and debate uh, the whole idea of looking at education, looking at young people, and, uh, and having people, having teachers, having parents, having colleagues also think of how we can make the education system uh, one in which all students can benefit from. And so I'm very satisfied with my work in that area.